Thank you for joining in for today's webinar, focusing on Docker's digital services for increasing productivity on site without impacting your bottom line. I'm Stephanie. I'm responsible for marketing here in the Middle East region, and I'll be your moderator for today's session. I'd like to introduce you to Mark Robertson, Docker's business development manager for digital services here in the region and also globally. Mark has a plethora of experience working in construction management across the UK, Africa, and the GCC. And he, in the last few years before joining Doka, he also worked in the ready mix industry, where he acquired very technical knowledge when it comes to concrete. And this knowledge is, is particularly useful when he's consulting you on concrete mode one of the digital services we'll be introducing to you today. I'll be showing you a video to start off the webinar that introduces you to our suite of services ranging from the planning and building stage up to the analysis of construction workflows. part of the construction industry today. Of course, the industry is known for being slow to adapting to new technologies, but we can definitely feel a shift. Of course, the last few months have been very challenging for all of us, and with tighter budgets and more stringent safety regulations, there's actually no better time to think about how those digital solutions can help you on your side today. So we'll be starting with Doka Exact now, and then we'll go into a remote instructor, smart pouring, and concrete mode. Mark, handing over to you. Thank you. So good morning. And thank you for joining us. So I will now start with our uh, our Docker Exact digital service. So we could launch the video if you like um, as an introduction as well. Yes, yes. Let's launch the video because that will be better. Yes. Docker Exact is the first wireless, interactive, sensor-based system for position controls of high-rise core formwork elements. The system provides real-time information and takes as-built data of the previous pouring step into account. The Docker Exact mobile app helps site crews to set up the formwork with a system accuracy of plus or minus 2 mm. The live monitoring function provides the current position of multiple formwork elements, which up until now has not been available in traditional sequential surveying processes. The Docker Exact system facilitates building qualitative and accurate high-rise cores in a time and cost-effective manner. So, you've now seen the video for Docker Exact. I will now go for a quick presentation just explaining how it works and how we came across the system. So Docker Exact is a, just a former positioning system for building vertical structures. In order to us to, to get to the point where we are now, we looked at three different systems. One was for measurements via GPS, which was not as accurate. One was for measuring via laser, which 
worked in some cases, but not in all. But the most effective measure was the incomity. This system is one that now has been adopted by Docker and is now our Docker exact system. So it is attached on multiple points of the formwork and it measures the actual inclination of the formwork elements. So you put one at the top of the formwork and one at the bottom of the formwork. We then have a coordinator, which all the information is sent to. So it considers an as built and it communicates with the wireless meters that we have and uses a local network. You then have an application via your mobile phone where your crews can use the application in order to check that the formwork is vertical. And it's a live measuring system and is available 24 seven. In these simple layouts here, you can see where the, the meters are. So on, the, on the, the diagram, we have the meters. We also have a hub and a coordinator where all the information is uploaded. And from there, it then goes to the cloud and the cloud, you can then access it on your mobile phone via the app, or you can use it via the computer. So you can use this in your workflow for your surveying so that the surveying time is, is vastly reduced. Also, the, the data is then sent. You can then put your data into your BIM modeling so you can then use it for your as-built diagrams also. Live monitoring. So on this slide, you can see you, you actually set up your tolerance and then it tells you what your actual tolerances are. You can go to plus or minus two millimeters using this system. The details for this is it, it enables you to have fast positioning of your formwork, precise positioning, which is the system accuracy down to plus minus two mm. You can save up to 75% in terms of time for surveying. It monitors the forming and reinforcing and concrete with your predefined structure. It reduces your follow up costs because you already know that your walls are level and vertical. It simplifies all of the monitoring of the formwork positioning due to what is live. In case of any deviations, it actually alerts you to tell you that your formwork is out of line. So if you measure it on Monday and you go to pour on Tuesday, if there is any difference, it will actually tell you that your formwork has deviated and it is now plus minus four mm, so you can go back and change it. It's very easy to use so that the site, site crews, foremen, anybody can use it. It eliminates any of the errors that can be made manually. So if you're doing it manually, you'll just say, yes, that's correct, let's leave it. But in this one, you've actually got documented proof that it's vertical. There's full transparency for all the stakeholders. You can log on to the system, you can see it, and you get a reporting function so you can actually report at any stage during the, the process. Here's an example of some of our um, projects. So this is Elephant Park in London. So you can see in, in the picture there, the inclinometer is on the, the right-hand side. This is another project in Melbourne, Australia. The top left-hand corner, you can just see the hub. You can see the, the, the smartphone application there. And then you can see the Docker exact measuring devices. This is another project in London. And again, you can, you can clearly see the kilometers are, are actually on the formwork there. And you can see the, a screenshot from our application. So if you use Docker Exact, you will achieve better accuracy to plus or minus two mm with your formwork positioning. You will save up to 75% in surveying services in terms of time. You will get real-time data. So it is actually real-time live data anywhere in the world. And because you're gonna get the real-time data, you can actually get guidance throughout the entire process using the Docker exact application. So we will now, if we, we now need to launch the poll. Mark, there's also one question uh, from the audience. 
and we would like to know what kind of training is required to be able to use Docker Exact. In terms of training that's required, there's, it's in a, a two stages. So stage one would be to actually train the personnel on site in terms of the positioning of the equipment and to ensure that they understand how to set it up. And the second stage of the, the training is actually on the application. So to understand how to put in your information, how to monitor it, how to link it back to your system. So in terms of training for a, for a project, what would normally happen is we would come to site, we would help you in, your, in setting it up for the first time, then monitoring it for the first time. We would stay for the, the first lift, the second lift, sometimes even the third lift. And then by the by the end of that, your staff will be fully trained. But what you and then we would we would effectively leave the site. But what you must remember is that there is always support available via our support help, help desk. So there's there's always somebody available to help you. And later on in this um, webinar, we will be explaining another method where we can help you in terms of troubleshooting. I hope that answers your question. And Mark, in terms of the poll, um, it's also interesting to see 60% uh, of the audience uh, wanted the accuracy of the formwork uh, positioning to be plus minus 5 mm, and 40% wanted the accuracy of plus minus 2 mm. Okay, that's, I mean, that's excellent. I mean, the 60% that want plus minus 5 mm, we can, we can achieve that, but we can actually achieve plus minus 2 mm, which is even better for them. So with this system, we can, we can achieve their goals, no problem. Great, I'd say let's move on to the next digital service, the remote instructor. And okay. I'll be launching a video, and then you can write, introduce the service in more detail again. Okay. Remote Instructor. Formwork Instructor. The professional for the smooth and efficient execution of formwork construction. Available now with the improved version in the Remote Instructor. No matter where you are, the Remote Instructor will connect you with our experts to give you the support you need. Remote Instructor. Call support. By using a smart collaboration software, we provide you with support at your construction site therefore facilitating shorter reaction times and reducing your costs. You decide with which hardware you want to operate the remote instructor. Regardless of whether you use a smartphone, tablet or state-of-the-art industrial wearable, we support you in real time, independently of your location. The intelligent video chat feature allows you to share notes, various documents, graphic content, and can mark and highlight image details. Complex problems and assistance are presented in an understandable way through visual content, which increases efficiency. Reduce downtime on the construction site and help bring your formwork into the digital world with The Remote Instructor. Okay, so it's a, a video of our remote instructor. So, remote instructor is exactly what it says. We can remotely help and instruct you how to get over any problem you have on your project site. 57% of time on a construction site is considered to be non-productive. So, no matter what your project is, there is always going to be some troubleshooting that is required. When you do have a problem on your site, if it, especially if it's a remote site, speed is the key to resolving this problem. 
the quicker your problem is resolved, the better it is for you in terms of productivity and utilization of equipment. So if you have a problem with our video calibration, calibration software, you will actually, we will be able to give you the solution so we can help you immediately. There's a high performance video calibration software which works with a smartphone, your tablet, or a PC, and you can even have a, a, a helmet-mounted tablet also. You can share your camera and receive assistance. So you can share your camera with the, the former instructor in, in our office, and he can then draw onto your camera to actually show you where the issue is and to highlight what you need to do to overcome your problem. We have a head-mounted tablet which is a hands-free video for the highest efficiency and safety in problem solving. So you can actually use it, your hands will be free, so you can look at the, the issues, you can point them out, and we can tell you how to fix it while you are looking at the screens. So if you have the problem, we will offer you the solution. The on-site benefits for you are it's very, very quick to troubleshoot. It's, it's independent of location, so no matter where you are in the world, we can offer you support. It's very simple communication. It's very fast documentation. It's hands-free, so it's very, very safe with our head-mounted tablet. So again quick troubleshooting reduce travel expenses so if, if you want us to come to your site to fix a problem we have to arrange to travel there we have to travel there is there is expenses incurred if we use this with, with your help then then those expenses are reduced this one communication solution can be used for many participants so you can have a call with five or six people on it, it it's no issue at all Fast documentation, you can look at drawings, you can check, share computer screens, you, you can do all of the things like that. And it enables group discussion. So if you have somebody in, um, let's say somebody is in Dubai, somebody else is in Abu Dhabi, and then you have somebody in Oman, the three of you can speak very, very clearly and solve the problem there. It's an end-to-end -end connection via the internet. It's available on the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. It's been optimized for mobile communications. And we have secure data servers that are based in Germany. So that's the, the end of our brief overview of former constructors. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Mark, there's no particular question right now regarding the remote instructor. Okay. So also introducing the next service now, Smart Pouring, with a video. And then handing over to you again. Thank you. Smart Pouring, optimizing the concrete process from the initial order to the actual pouring. This is Frank, a foreman in construction. He uses Smart Pouring to order concrete for the next week. Frank types in the requirements and sends his order. He pinpoints the exact coordinates for delivery. The concrete supplier receives Frank's order and approves. With all the information at hand, the concrete manufacturer starts producing. While the concrete is being poured into driver Dave's trailer, he receives his electronic delivery note. Dave is on his way. When Dave arrives at the unloading point, Frank is informed and approves the delivery. Dave matches his delivery with the bucket's Bluetooth beacon. This is how Smart Pouring knows which bucket has been used for the delivery. The initial bucket needs to be matched with the formwork. Mismatches are detected. In our case, it's just fine and can be poured in. Buckets of the same ID match automatically. Smart Pouring handles gapless documentation for you. The piled information creates a valuable base for future decisions. No more mix-ups and misunderstandings. Get ready for Smart Pouring to optimize the entire concrete process, from the initial order to the actual pouring, for iOS and Android. Part of Upbeat Construction, digital services for higher productivity.
Okay, thank you for that. So, smart pouring. So, having come from the, the ready mix industry for a number of years, um, I've lost count the amount of times that the contractors have put the incorrect concrete in a concrete pour. Uh, years ago, it used to be 10 times the cost of the concrete to remove it, as well as the delays and the damage to the contractor's reputation. So this system enables you to track your concrete order and the placement of concrete on your construction site. It's done in three stages. So the first stage is you order it. The second stage is the delivery. And the third stage we are calling the last mile. So the last mile is the delivery is when it arrives on your site and the last mile is when it's actually placed in your construction project. So if it's placed in the formwork. So as the video said, you order your concrete via smartphone. There is an application that you can download. So orders are via the smartphone. You have an overview of the today's orders, tomorrow's orders. You can order it faster and more accurately with the help of contact, which is another system which we'll talk about at a later stage. Using this allows you to have improved communication between the foreman and the dispatcher and enables you to have better communication on site and more visibility of where your concrete is. So the dispatcher or the concrete company will receive an order on their own screen or directly via an interface on their applications. We are currently working with a number of ready mix suppliers throughout the world to implement this within their system. On the application, you will have an overview of current deliveries. You will be able to understand what is happening with your ongoing deliveries. You will have direct communication with a, a chat application on the feature, so similar to, to Viber or WhatsApp, but actually inbuilt to this application. It will allow you to have better communication between the foreman, site manager, worker, pump driver, crane operator, all of the people that will be involved in placing of your concrete. It's all done via the, the QR code, so we will come to your site, we will help you set up all your QR codes for your pumps, for your formwork, and for your skips. So for the construction and concrete process, we will provide, it provides a better service in terms of quality management, so you're assured of where your concrete can go. It gives you documentation to say that the, 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 the load was back to 8 o'clock, it arrived on site at 8.30, it was discharged at 8.45, and the, the load was completed at 9.15. And it also provides you with an automatic concrete diary via the application, so everything is documented so you understand what happens on a day-to-day -day basis. So, have you got any questions about smart pouring? I know it was a very, very brief overview, and there are far more complex presentations for that, but we will obviously do those at a later date. So any questions? Mark, uh, one question is, how long would it take to implement smart pouring if I'd be interested to start? If you want, in terms of implementation, if you are asking for, I mean, what downloading the application is instantaneous, coming to your site and setting it up can be done within a week depending on where you are in the world and which concrete supplier you're using. But normally it takes a week to 10 days. Okay, great. That was it. Uh, no further question in this, for this particular service. I'll be launching the concrete mode video now. And a poll will be visible on the right side as well. And then Mark will be introducing you to concrete mode, which uh, he really is an expert also with concrete. So. With over 150 years of heritage behind us, DOCA was founded on an ethos of innovation. From first being recognized at the Vienna World Expo in 1873, through to the establishment of our dedicated research and development center in 1990, DOCA's commitment to setting the standards in formwork design and application has helped to make us the number one choice for contractors and consultants alike. Having worked on some of the world's most iconic buildings, DOCA also understands that the pace of innovation is gaining momentum, which is why today we invite our industry stakeholders to experience our latest intelligent products, each of which has been designed with our clients in mind. 
Communication on site is key to the momentum of any project, with the most efficient form being first hand and up to the minute. As professionals in the construction industry, we expect direct communication from all our project stakeholders. So why shouldn't we expect it from the structure itself? Take for example, Concremote, our exclusive award-winning sensor solution that bridges the gap between you and your concrete structure. By measuring the compressive strength and durability parameters of concrete in real time, Concremote uses the maturity method, a process that takes into account time, hydration temperature, and the characteristic values of concrete and cement, allowing for the most accurate readings possible. So what does this mean for you as either a consultant or main contractor? In brief, Concremote can improve your cycle times up to 47% and reduce costs up to 32%, meaning your projects can be completed faster while still guaranteeing concrete durability and quality. The measurement accuracy and efficiency is further enhanced by the fact that Concremote sensors are placed directly into slabs, walls, columns, rafts and mass concrete structures, meaning results are available on an up-to-the-minute basis directly from the concrete to the project manager's smartphone or tablet device. At DOCA, we believe the success of our innovation can only be measured by the time, cost efficiency and safety it provides for our clients. For further information or to contact a member of our team, please click on the link and start to redefine your standards today. DOCA. Construction redefined. Construction. Mark, I thought uh, to um, explain the results of the first poll already because the results are quite interesting for everyone to know. Um, the question was, do you need to monitor mass concrete pores for temperature control and thermal cracking? And the audience re responded with 50-50. Yes, although we require a better system, 50%. And we are supposed to, but don't due to cost, 50%. Wow. So that's great news for us because... If you require a better system, we have a better system. And if you are supposed to, but are not doing it due to the costs, then I'm sure that our um, system is, a, is a, a better system in terms of financial costs. So I will now briefly explain Concremote and how it works. About five years ago, Con Concrify, which is a company that Docker purchased, started to use Concremot. We are Concrify is a materials testing laboratory which is based in Holland and we can test all, all materials for a construction site. But our main product with Concrify is our Concremot device. Concremot can do three things only. It can measure the real-time monitoring of early age compressive strength. So it can tell you the strength of your concrete when it is still in the shutter. For temperature development in mass concrete structures, so it can tell you the temperature development in terms of thermal cracking, and it can measure all your temperatures as required. And for fair face concrete projects, it can ensure that you get a similar color tone by using Concremote. In turn, this is going to save you time, enhance your concrete quality, and reduce costs. It will also increase safety. And by increasing safety, what we mean is when you strip your shutter, you will be safe in the knowledge that the concrete strength is exactly what we tell you it is. So, for the real-time monitoring of early age compressive strength, if you are given the real-time strength of your concrete, you will be able to take better decisions on post-tensioning, stripping and climbing. You will be able to reduce your cycle times, and as such, you will be able to reduce your formwork quantities. So that means that if you use Concremote, we will tell you the concrete strength. You will be able to recycle your shutters quicker, so you will need less shuttering to finish your project. We can also help you with your concrete mix design. So we will save you time, enhance your concrete quality, reduce your costs, and again, it will increase safety. 
In reducing costs, we will lower your overheads because you will finish your construction earlier. We will save you money on your concrete mix optimizations. Saving time, reducing your project completion time by reducing your cycle times. So you will be delivering your projects earlier or on time at the very least. For temperature development in mass concrete structures, we, all, we, we should, hopefully we all know about thermal cracking. So our system can monitor your concrete temperature in real time, live, via an application which we'll discuss in a little while. So if you take the correct decisions from this for keeping your formwork in place, for insulating the formwork, in some countries for even heating the formwork, and certainly for cooling down certain structures. Controlling the temperature and the temperature differentials is very, very important in mass concrete pores to reduce thermal cracking. Worst case scenario, if you do not control thermal cracking, you have to remove the concrete. So with our system, you will save time because you will reduce the time for crack repairs if to, to zero in some cases. You will have documentation from the minute the concrete goes in the pour until you disconnect the sensors. Your concrete quality will be higher. The reduce, you will reduce the amount of damage caused to the concrete by reducing the cracks. And the cracks that you do get will be much smaller and therefore they will take less remedial action to fix. You can make enormous savings on reduced crack repair or avoiding crack repairs completely. For fair face concrete projects, for those of you who have projects where the, the concrete needs to be the same color, so for um, a hotel lobby, for, a, for, for restaurants, for museums, etc., where you need exactly the same color, we will enable you to do this by telling you the exact moment to strip your shutter. So concrete gets its color from three different places. So it gets its color from, from the actual concrete mix itself and the constituents. It gets its color from the type of formwork and release agent that is used. And it also gets its color from interaction with the air. So if you strip your shutter at the same maturity, which is strength every day, you will get a similar color. If you strip it at the same time every day, you will not get the same color because you won't have the same strength. And because concrement is a more accurate way of measuring early age compressive strength, the results are far better. So how does concrement work? Well, in front of you now, you will see the slide of the components. So we have a, a slab sensor, a cable sensor, a wall panel sensor, a measuring cable, and a calibration box. All of that equipment, except the measuring cable, are reusable. The only lost item is the measuring cable, and that's because that will be embedded in the concrete. But you don't need to, you only need to use the measuring cable for temperature monitoring or for very, very large slab pours. For a normal slab pour for a residential building or a hotel, you just use a slab sensor. And for if you want to monitor walls and columns, you will use the wall panel with the cable sensor. In order for us to use concrete on your site, we need to calibrate the concrete. Now, how we do that is we will come to your site, we will take a sample of your concrete, and we will make six cubes in our calibration boxes. So we will then put it in a temperature controlled calibration box. And this will then tell us the temperature of the concrete. And then we will crush the cubes at predetermined times where we will know the strength of the concrete. So we will know the temperature and time and the strength. And then we can get a correlation graph for that. We can have a calibration curve and then we can put our safety value in because we have to have a safety value. In terms of communication and, and how does the actual system work on this diagram is very very clear you install the slab sensor the slab sensor immediately starts taking reading so every 10 minutes the slab sensor takes a temperature reading every one hour it transmits it to our servers which then in turn turn 
comes up onto the, the web portal or the mobile application. We can reduce the amount of time. So in, in, every 10 minutes it takes a measurement, but if you want the measurement sent to the portal earlier, then we can send it earlier. But the, the more data you send, the more expensive it becomes because the, it's just like a mobile phone. If you only send one email a day, it's, it's one thing. If you send 100 emails a day, the data gets used up quick. In terms of how does it work? So on here, this is a, a snapshot of our web portal where you have four clear boxes, which is for compressive strength, temperature, maturity, and delta temperature. So the temperature is, is very easy. It's the, the amb each sensor measures minimum of two temperatures, which is the internal temperature of the concrete and the ambient temperature. Delta temperature is the difference between ambient and concrete temperature. Compressive strength is obviously the compressive strength of the concrete and maturity is the method used for calculating strength. So it is Celsius hours. So you can see on the diagram that the maturity is increasing in the top left hand corner, but the strength is not increasing yet. The reason is for the first two to three hours of concrete's life, it doesn't gain much strength unless it's early age concrete strength. So once the setting process has begun and the concrete begins to get hard, then the strength starts to increase. Once you have reached your target value, we then send you a message telling you that your concrete has reached its target value. This target value is set by the client. It can be a maximum of 75% of the characteristic strength of your concrete. So as an example, you are placing 40 Newton concrete. Our concrete system can accurately measure up to 30 Newtons. So this is why it's an early age strength monitoring. So it's for stripping strength, it's for climbing strength, and it's for using in terms of post-tensioning. But you will be notified that the concrete has reached its target strength via email, text, and even on a smartwatch. Using our application, you can set up so you can measure a number of different pores at any one time on the same construction site. You can measure a number of different pores for the same company. So if you have one project in the city center, you can measure all the concrete there. If you have two projects, one in the city center and one on the outskirts, you can still use it all on the same application. In terms of who has access, that's entirely up to the, the client to decide. So the project manager, should, in my opinion, have access only to his project, and a project director should have access to all the projects. The QAQC manager should have access to all the projects and various different people on your site. So do you want your formwork manager to have access so that he is told when he can strip his shutter? That's entirely up to you, and, and full training will be given on this one also. How can it help you in terms of value engineering? So um, you will take your measurements. It will give you information. You will evaluate that information. You will learn from that information, and then you can plan your next pour. So if you, are, if you believe that you're supposed to have a, a five-day cycle, you take your measurement. The information is coming back that you have a four-day cycle. You evaluate that you learn from it, and then you plan your next cycle on four days, not the original five days. Then you start measuring again, and the four days then gets reduced to three and a half days because the temperatures have changed. You then monitor that information, evaluate it, learn from it, and on your next planning, you can plan for three and a half days. So you, you are continually reviewing and changing your schedule in order to make your project go quicker. For more value engineering, we can actually offer you a simulation. So in July and August, when the temperatures are at its hottest, we know when we can strip the shutter. 
So if you've started your project now in June, July, August, when the temperatures are higher, you will be stripping your shutter earlier. But when will you be able to strip your shutter in December, January, February, when the temperatures are lower? At the moment, the answer to that is you don't really know. Using this system, you will be able to accurately forecast what you can do when the weather changes and then you'll be able to strip your shutter. So for example, if you put this on a project and you're using it for say one month, you will already have a, a large amount of data stored in the portal. You can then start measuring on a concrete pour and then you just click a simulation button and this will tell you what will happen when the temperatures are reduced. So you can actually use this system to reduce the temperature in the portal and it will then estimate when you can strip your shutter. So if the temperature today is 42 degrees and you can strip your shutter in three days, when the temperature is 20 degrees, when will you be able to strip your shutter? This will give you an accurate estimation of when you can strip your shutter. This will enable you to plan your manpower, your machinery, your formwork, it will enable you to plan your next stages, so your mechanical engineering. If you know you are going to be ahead of schedule, you can call your mechanical engineers earlier and therefore finish the whole project earlier. So this can help you with your bioengineering. This is the, the, the most technical slide of the day. The concrete maturity method is a method that has been around since 1955. It is in the British standards, the American standards, the European standards. It is used extensively in Europe. We are using it in over 70 countries in the world at present. The, the bit you need to understand is a given concrete mix design may reach the same compressor strength at seven days at 10 degrees or three days at 23 degrees. The hotter the concrete, the quicker it gains strength colder the concrete, the slower it gains strength. So it, it's you know, all of this doing is, is measuring, and it's a it's a system that has um, been in use for a number of years. It's an approved system from the Dubai municipality, and we have used it on many projects throughout the world. Now I will just give you some examples of where it's been used. This was the project in Germany. So it was, um, I think it was 1,800 square meters of, of slab formwork in total. We saved 50% of the build time. So we reduced their project by six weeks by giving them a three day cycle. We did this by calibrating their concrete at the very, very start of the project and giving them a choice of different mixes that they could use. The savings achieved on this project were in six figures in euros. They needed 33% less formwork for the project. So that was 600 square meters less formwork. So we at Docker gave them a system that allowed them to reduce the amount of formwork that was required. This is a project in Austria. This is a residential building. On this particular project, they didn't want to remove the shutter until 28 days. This was what was required by their standard. Regardless of strength, is what I wanted for 28 days. We sat with the consultant, we did some work with him. He agreed that our system was working correctly and that the strengths were accurate. And we reduced the stripping time from 28 to in between eight and 10 days. So we saved anywhere between 18 and 20 days on, this, on these stripping times. The slab formwork was reduced by 50%. So one whole floor level. The project was finished early. They required less formwork and the, the client was more than happy and so was the consultant. This is a job for, for the KTM Museum. So KTM is a, is a motorbike manufacturer. They wanted to build a museum where they could show their motorbikes off inside it, but they didn't want to paint the walls. They just wanted plain concrete, all of the same color and the same finish. In order to do that, they use Concremote, and we enabled them there to, to tell them when to strip the shutter to enable them to have the same color tone all the way through. 
by using concrete here, they didn't have to finish the concrete. They didn't have any more concrete finishing repairs to do at the end of it. They had detailed records saying that the concrete was poured at this time, it was stripped at this time, and the strength was this. So they had a complete documentation that the consultant signed off. The client was more than happy with this and is now considering using concrete on another project for Fairface Concrete. This is High Point in London. So as you can see, this is a, a core. This is a residential building and we're, we're doing the core there. We reduced the cycle time for the climbing of the core from six days to five days. So we reduced it by one day, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you have 47 floors, that's 47 days of saving. 47 days of saving in London on a residential building delivered huge cost savings to this contractor. The residents were able to move into their houses or apartments earlier, and therefore the investor was able to get a quicker return on his money. Also saving 47 days on construction meant that the form work was hired for 47 days less. So another cost saving. New Orbital Highway in, in Doha. On this they had 26 bridge spans, and on each bridge span, they had an average of four beams. And they used our system to give them an accurate time for post-tensioning. During this project, we saved 75 days of construction. So 75 days of construction on a project this size. So you can only imagine what the savings were in terms of financial. This is Muskrat Falls in Canada. So for, for those who, who haven't been to Canada, it can be a very, very cold country. This is a hydropower plant and it was one of the biggest to be built in Canada. They have huge problems when this was being built because the temperature ranged from minus 40 to plus 20. And they needed an accurate method for controlling the temperature to reduce cracking. On this particular project, we measured over two and a half thousand concrete separate pores. So the, the, the cost reduction, in terms of cost reduction, the cost reduction was that they didn't have to spend as much money as they had on previous projects in repairing their concrete. So we were telling them that the, the concrete temperature, when they could strip their shutter, what the differential was between concrete and ambient, and that reduced thermal cracking. These are all the areas where Concremote can help you and your project. So reduction of formwork costs, that's it. We will help you reduce your formwork costs on your project. We will give you shorter cycle times, accurate timings for post-tensioning. We can help you reduce the cost of your concrete by optimizing your mix at the start of the project and any stage during the project, as long as we can work with either yourself, if you're producing your own concrete or your concrete supplier. The concrete durability will improve and it will improve because it's being monitored and everybody knows it will be monitored. We will give you effective measures in terms of controlling your thermal stress. We will tell you the temperature. We can set an alarm on the, on the system that if the temperature of your concrete goes above X degrees, it sends you a message so you can go to site and try and reduce the impact of that. By using this, you will reduce your project completion time. You will finish your project early or you will finish it on time. So no, no penalties for delays. The data access is available from anywhere in the world. As long as you have an internet connection, you can get access to this, no matter where you are in the world. This morning, I was looking at the project we are doing in Australia, and I was looking at the, the live measurements of concrete in Australia. And that brings us an end to the, the Concremote presentation. Uh, very, very short, and there is a, a lot more involved, but we will go into that at a later date if required. Is there any questions? Yeah, Mark, what I thought also was interesting to share and discuss um, the results of the other poll, where would you like to strip shutters earlier than your current cycle times? 
So 80% of the audience said, yes, it's considered safe and sa safe and it saves us time and money. Yeah. Uh, whereas only 20% of the audience said we are not allowed due to existing standards. Uh, well, for the, for the 80%, then yes, we can certainly help you save time and money. And for the 20%, allow us to speak to your consultant and to the owner of the project. And we have managed to persuade certain consultants because in all the standards, it will tell you if it's reached the appropriate strength at contractor's risk. And there are various parts of the standard that we can speak to the consultant about. And then in 50% of the cases when we speak to a consultant, we're successful in the application of concrement on that project. Thank, thanks, Mark. Very positive indeed. Um, now I'd like to address, there's actually a few questions from the audience also about other services. So I'll start with the concrete mode question and then I'll go on to the exact question and also the smart pouring question. Okay. So one question regarding concrete mode was whether there's any challenges with Middle East temperatures. What, what is your experience? In terms of the, the Middle East, it actually is very, very beneficial because of the high temperatures, because as I said, the, the, the hotter the concrete, the quicker the, the hardening times so or the quicker the strength gain. So in terms of the Middle East, there is no problem in terms of us using Concremote and it will save time. And we have documentary evidence to, to, to back up that statement that we can save time in the Middle East using Concremote. We can, we have reduced, for an example, in one project where they were doing precast concrete, where they were actually lifting the precast elements. Before Concremote, they were lifting it in 48 hours. And when they started using Concremote, they were doing it in between 24 and 26 hours. So, so there is a huge saving to be made in terms of time. Hopefully that answers the question. Yes, um, now I'm going back to the next question referring to Doka Exact. Um, the question is, we have some projects we worked on with inclined columns and walls. Can we use Doka Exact to measure the inclination of the inclined structural elements? Yes, you can. Docker Exact will measure any angle or inclination that is required. All you have to do is set it up in the system. And as I said, there is full training given on the system so that you can gain plus minus 2% accuracy on all of your measurements. So yes, it can be used on, on any, uh, it can be vertical, it can be 45 degrees, 30 degrees, whichever way you require it for your project, we can certainly help you. Thanks, Mark. Now jumping to smart pouring, there was another question. Um, is it the contractor's responsibility to coordinate with the ready mix company in terms of using smart pouring and registration of concrete mix types needed? Liaising with the concrete supplier in the initial, so if it's your first project and your first time using this concrete supplier with smart pouring, we will help in setting up the system and making sure all the concrete mixes are on the system, given the codes, etc. And we will offer support from then all the way through the process, even onto the next project and the next project. But in the initial stage, we will help you with your ready mix concrete supplier. Great. And does smart pouring work with other concrete pouring methods rather than bucket? It works with any method at all, but obviously in for if you are doing straight pouring, it will work. If you are doing pouring with a skip, it works. And if you are pouring with a pump, it also works. All we have to do is set up the codes accordingly. So it's it just takes a little bit of setting up. And again, full training is given and um, we, we will support you 100% all the time. So one question that is very interesting indeed is connecting a few of those services. So the question is, can Concrete Mode, Duca Exact and Smart Pouring coordinate together in the cloud oh. using AI for the same project to have a full digital control and overview? All of our systems are fully integrated and we provide a platform for that, which is called Contact, which we'll discuss shortly. So you can actually, so if you imagine you can use, you use the um, Docker Exact to make your formwork is vertical. 
you are using formwork instructor if you have any problems on the vocality of this particular formwork. You are then using smart pouring to make sure that you put the right concrete in the right formwork. And then you are using Concremote to tell you when you can strip the shutter. All of these and many of our other digital services are all linked and can be used via our contact application, which we will show you shortly. I think that's a great transition actually to uh, showcase our contact video. Okay, yes, for sure. So our challenge was to make construction ready for a more productive future. Digitization can be a very powerful tool in that. But digitization had one blank spot, the construction site itself. I will be launching a quick poll on the right side to, so you can let us know about, um, about which service you'd like to learn more about. And Mark will get back to you. Uh, or perhaps we'll arrange a second webinar just focusing on this particular service. And I'll be launching the poll now. It would be great if you can connect with us on LinkedIn, on the Doka Middle East and Africa page. I'll be logging out now and handing over to Mark for his final words. Okay, so thank you very much for, for joining us on the webinar. It's Stephanie said there that she will certainly be launching a poll so you can let us know which digital service you would like to know more information about. Please feel free to contact us and we can arrange for people to come to your construction site to speak to you about particular services. We can also discuss how we can help you on your upcoming projects with Compromote or any of the other devices. Whichever device or system you're interested in, we will speak to you about that and hopefully we can um, meet up in the, in the next, in the coming months. I'm not sure when to be exact, but you know, we are available to, to speak to you about all of these issues. And uh, I wish you a safe time and uh, we will speak again soon. So, thank you very much for your time. And um, as Stephanie said, please join us on our LinkedIn page. We have a LinkedIn page for DACA Middle East and Africa, and we also have a Concremote community page, and we will soon be launching a digital page. So, thank you very much for your time, gentlemen and ladies, and bye bye.